On the News Channel 5 Network, this is Inside Politics. Hello, everyone. I'm News Channel 5's political analyst, Pat Nolan. Welcome to Inside Politics. This week, Nashville got its fourth major candidate to be our next mayor. Metro Councilman at Large John Cooper has changed his mind and now will be a candidate on the August 1st ballot. John Cooper's our guest on Inside Politics this week. Thank you, Pat. It's great to be here. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, in February, you said it was not the right time for you to run for mayor. What changed? Well, I, I wanted to give the administration as long a time as possible to make sure that we were on the right direction. But Nashville is just growing too fast, and we can't wait four years to address these issues. And ultimately, I came to the conclusion that a great mayor, a mayor can do more in a day than you can in a council term sometimes you think that way. So changing the growth trajectory of Nashville, that's why you want to be mayor? No, I think um, I was kind of drafted by all parts of the community, progressives, Democrats, Republicans. The people are concerned particularly about a couple things. One is neighborhoods first. We feel that maybe density is not creating a livable city. Financial stewardship is a big concern. Here in our period of greatest boom, we seem to have run out of money. Now we run on deficit spending. This last year we had a $500 million deficit. We've maxed out the credit cards. Unless we get the money part right, we're not going to have a great city in the future. And then ultimately, all these plans in our future require trust, and that's competence, and that's candor, and that's transparency. You think metro government has lost the faith and confidence and trust of the voters. Is that, is that, is that what I'm you're saying? I'm saying that it's not where it should be. Uh, you have experience in metro government from the years you've been spent, last three, four years you've been spending as a metro councilman at large, but being one of 40 council members is not the same as being the, the CEO and the head of a multi-billion right. dollar government. So what makes you qualified? Well, I have a lot of business and financial experience. Um, I think I'm really the right person in, in finance and in real estate, the right person for the city right at this time. And that's a, a big moment because I think the city is at an inflection point. The next era is going to be our best era, our greatest era, but we need to restore the trust, we need to get our finances right, and we need to put neighborhoods first after a long period of downtown coming first. Back in February, you said you had some health problems or you'd had some health problems and you weren't even quite sure you were going to run for re-election for at large. Are you well, better? Well, it wasn't, or, it wasn't there... health problems related. It's just it wasn't the right moment. And I feel that I've been called to give a voice to exactly what we're talking about, that elections are about choices. We need to have an extra choice on the ballot and to have a meaningful discussion in the community about the direction that Nashville's going in. You called Mayor Briley before you made your announcement that you were going to run. Why did you feel you needed to do that and what was the conversation like? Well, we, we are... <laughs> we're close. Of course I called him. You know, of course I let him know. I mean, we're, this is a wonderful city. Then we behave. And uh, I, I think the Tennessean would want to take credit for it. Um, it w everybody is civil and nice to each other, exactly as appropriate as they... In some politics, some politics is going ex exactly the opposite But not direction. here. Not here. And I think we're going to be... Uh, we're going to continue to be that kind of city. One issue that you said that made you want to run or decided to help you move in that direction was the mayor's announcement of a $750 million program to address affordable housing. That's certainly a neighborhood issue throughout every neighborhood in town. Well, What's wrong with that plan? What do you oppose well, about it? Um, the affordable housing plan, not because of affordable housing, but because of the way it was presented. After a year, it's a one-page announcement, and a third of it, $250 million, adds to the, a grand total, is really kind of a made-up number. It's kind of a request for it contributions. It takes about $2 billion at that point. No, no, to $750 million. So of the $750 million, $250 of it is a solicitation for charitable or other investment in Nashville. Well, the private sector. Okay, in some cases. right, but. Yeah, that that's not that meaningful a number and then the bulk of the rest of the number is really a transfer payment over to MDHA and that has its own series of questions in it so after a year we got one page that's probably not as ambitious as our community wants it to be well so what is your plan an even larger plan of, of metro government dollars going directly to something else in in the sector to well get the done? first plan is to be completely candid about the problem and that not to use an inflated 250 million dollars 
is for people to rely on that is necessarily going to happen. And there are a couple other just basic things to be doing. Let's require an affordable housing, a Barnes Fund investment to match our downtown business investment. And when we give incentives to a property, let's go ahead and require affordable housing commitment right there. You mentioned that it's time to do more for neighborhoods and maybe less for downtown. If you had been mayor, would you have been seeking out the NFL draft that's coming here? Sure. It's going to be the largest event we've ever had tourism-wise in sure. Nashville. We need our tourism business to be a big success. We need downtown to be a success. This is just a question of resetting our priorities, Even including if it means everybody down in it. Cherry trees well, or relocating no, cherry trees. we would we would ask the stage to be moved. I, I, I would hope. And the cherry trees is a symbol. Are we the trees? Are we being removed to make way for a different Nashville? Uh, that's being kind of imposed on us, and are we benefiting from growth? Would you have sought the Amazon uh, tax incentives? Would you have supported those to bring Amazon here? Would you have done the same thing for Alliance Bernstein? You voted for the Alliance Bernstein. Uh, well, and job incentive. Uh, I voted voted for both, with uh, an important um, caveat to ask the Music City Center, which is making the sales tax collections from downtown, to pay for it, to put the downtown incentives being paid for by the right pocket and not by the general fund pocket. You are saying that uh, we've maxed out the credit card, that we're growing too fast. Is that saying to companies that looking at Nashville that don't come here anymore, we've well, had an, our, we're, we're, we're saying, full, we're closed? We're saying two different things. We have maxed out the credit card, right? And debt service just in the last few years has grown so much, it would pay for the entire police department and the parks department just from debt service in the last few years to show how much our deficit spending has added to this burden on metro debt. So we, it's very hard for, we don't want to stop growth. We're not trying to, we're just trying to manage it so that we are all included in growth. And one of the metrics of this is what is our number of priority schools? Right. These. This. Let's have the Nashville, Let's have the NFL draft. But let's also make some school improvement, and to come to the understanding that downtown does not contribute to the general fund as much as people think it does. And that's why in this period of our biggest boom, we're also having our biggest budget issues. Metro Councilman at Large John Cooper is our guest on Inside Politics. He's also a candidate for mayor in the August first primary. More with the, uh, the new mayoral candidate after this break.